here we are. Something I've been wanting to do for a little while, but waiting for it to get really cold. Um, but it's about 12 degrees on this uh, Monday morning. And uh, here we have again the 1978 GMC Suburban. She, uh, she drove many winters as a daily driver, got me to, uh, got me to work every day and, uh, wherever else I needed to go without a problem. But these days she's retired from the winters and, uh, she just sits in the backyard, encapsulated in snow and ice, but... I figure it's better than picking up all the road grime and the salt and everything out there. So, as you can see, we are sealed. We have uh, not popped the hood. And uh, the battery was pretty good in this thing. It always was. Um, the last time this fired up was at least a couple of months ago. I had to, um, we had a storm and a, there was a tree branch that was dangling and it was touching the back of it. I didn't like it, so I fired it up in the middle of the storm and I was able to drive it forward to where it sits now. And, uh, it does have an Edelbrock, you know that. It's a uh, stock 350. Uh, as far as I know, the original one. It's probably got well over 200k. Not exactly sure because the uh, odometer has not worked in years. Um, but we have a new Speedo cable in a box. That we never put in. That's right. We never put it in. So. As I said. It's got an Edelbrock. But this one. Unlike the other trucks. The uh, electric choke. Started acting up. When I was driving it in the summertime. And one day it just decided to stick, and I don't know what was really going on with it, so I unhooked it. I just plucked the wire off of it, and, uh, you know, you don't really need the choke on a good old, uh, good old 350 in the summer. But, so, that's what we're going to be dealing with, and, uh, it's a long way back to the 42-gallon fuel tank that sits under this so we'll have to uh, we'll have to do some cranking to get this thing to suck it up as I kneel down in the snow for you I show you the frost on the engine So you know, she's cold. There's the old interstate. And uh, I just hope that it still has the juice. To bring it to life. For you to enjoy the lovely sound but if not we either give up or we have to break the seal and you know about breaking the seal it's never a good thing
a lot of people get right in and start pumping frost it's not going to do anything you haven't sucked any fuel up there yet there's no fuel no gas up at the carburetor something that's been sitting like this there's nothing there you got a cranker for a bit let's just uh go ahead and make sure this is off We got life. Blower motor's always on. Always just uh, stays on low. So, let's see what happens. Now that is some nice cranking. That's a good battery. It's been down in the single digits up here. Um, so now we're gonna we're gonna give it a thousand pumps. ready to go boys she is twitching she wants to come up what a battery
starting to come up a little. Run it for 10 minutes. We got heat. The heat's just pouring out. surprised as I was? Maybe not. We've been doing this for years. 78 Suburban. It's been around a while. Hope you enjoyed. Still there. Still watching. I know. I knew you would. I always knew you would. How many times? How many times have you witnessed a cold start in the suburban?
out on the streets is where we'll meet.